Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com. Today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Oracle Afterburner Taillight LED Stick-On Kit in red, available for the 08 to 14 Challenger. You should be checking these out if you're looking for an affordable alternative to an LED upgrade to your taillights. Now, alternatively, you can spend somewhere between 400 to 500 bucks on a complete taillight replacement that'll give you the LED look you see here, along with either a red clear, like your factory, or a smoked lens. The Oracle kit you see here allows you to save some money for your wallet while spending right around 200 bucks to get the same LED effect that you'd get from a full taillight replacement. The alternative here is this is one LED strip that sticks onto the outside of your factory taillights. Listen, the 3M LEDs are not gonna be for everyone. Not everyone likes the look of an LED strip that's stuck onto the exterior of their vehicle, but if you're looking to cut cost and get that LED effect, this is a cost-effective way to do it. Now, I will say these are extremely bright red LEDs. They stick right onto the exterior bezel around your taillights here, and they light up with your factory running lights or your taillights. Now, I suppose you could wire them into just your brake lights. You have that option, depending on where you wanna go with it, but it's recommended to go to your running lights like you see here. I'll be quite honest, when your lights are off in the daytime, it really does just look like a white LED strip. Not necessarily the most attractive thing in my personal opinion, but if you like the look of the LED strip, especially when they're on, if that outweighs that for you, then this is a perfect way to pick it up for right around 200 bucks. The install here gets two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter because there is a small amount of splicing for the wiring involved. Now it's not hard manual splicing like cutting the wires and stripping them, but if you wanna use vampire connectors like I'll be showing you here, which you can pick up separately, it'll make life a whole lot easier. The wiring runs right between the crack of your taillight and your center section here, and it goes right to the back, conveniently in the trunk where your master harness is. Now you'll do that on both sides, and I'll take you through the whole process there. If you wanna use my method, it'll take you about 15 to 20 minutes from start to finish to tackle them both. It's extremely simple. What do you say we get started? Tools recommended for this install include a pair of pliers, four vampire connectors for splicing to make it easier, and alcohol wipes. First up here, I'm actually gonna use an alcohol wipe here to wipe off the surface of our tail light. Now, the LEDs are only gonna be going around this top bezel here all the way around, so I'm just gonna wipe off that area. It's a good idea to get it nice and clean without using any chemicals like Windex or anything like that. You wanna make sure all the dirt and dust is off so the 3M gets a really good bond. Now you can, after this, use adhesion promoter. We're gonna be removing it right after the video, so I'm gonna skip that step, but if you want a really good bond, Use the adhesion promoter included in the kit and then apply it. All right, now before we get into any of the wiring, I'm going to apply this to our taillights. So the first thing I'm going to do here is peel off 3M tape backing, getting rid of this red, prepping it for installation. Just like that. Next up, what you're going to do is use the corners as a reference, especially this corner over here going into the center. You want to make sure that that's dead on I'm gonna to do top and bottom, and then just carefully put light pressure at first all the way around to make sure it's lined up properly. Just like that. So we have it on, make sure you like it there. There's a little bit of forgiveness at first, but once you know where it's gonna be, put firm, even pressure all the way around. Do the same thing for the other side, and then we'll get to the wiring. All right, same thing on the other side, starting with wiping. All right, next up we can focus on our wiring. We're gonna need to pop our trunk. And you can feed the wiring through that crack here. Now when you close your trunk lid, you'll see that the wiring tucks in between. You can do it that way. The alternative would be to lift out your tail light and tuck it underneath. Now that's up to you. I'm gonna go right through this crack here and then we'll feed it into our harness. All right. You can also tuck it under the weather stripping here to hide it a little bit better. All right, now that your trunk's popped, we're gonna focus on our driver's side first. You wanna twist off this plastic retainer cap and set that aside. And you're gonna peel back the trunk liner to expose your taillight harness. All 
Now your tail light harness comes in a couple of different pieces and a lot of different color wiring. What we're gonna do is go straight up to the plug, pinch and disconnect. That's your main master harness right there. Now just to make life easier, I'm gonna disconnect the secondary harness there so that we can bring it out and make it easier to work with. All right, so I've got our LED harness unraveled here. Now these two wires need to be spliced. I recommend using vampire connectors. They're the easiest way to avoid uh, cutting and manually splicing your wires in. This will just clamp right into position. Now I'm gonna use the three wires right at the top near our master harness plug. Now the black is gonna be our ground. We then have a yellow and a white. We'll have to determine which one is our power. Our black is our ground. So let's focus on the black for now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the black wire from your LED and you're gonna insert that into one side of your vampire connector. The other side, you're gonna insert the wire from your factory harness, just like that. You wanna make sure they're both fully in position. I'm gonna rotate this upward. Then you're gonna take a pair of pliers and you're gonna clamp down the metal piece right in the middle and that's gonna make the connection between the two. Give that a tug, make sure it's nice and secure. And you can close it, and that's it. We're gonna do the same thing for our red wire to our power. Now to determine which one of these wires is your power, you wanna flip on your lights, so our taillights are on currently, and you're gonna take this and tap it into which pin. So we can see that the white pin is all the way on the left, so you can tap that in there carefully. If the lights come on, it's it. Lights are not coming on, so it's not the white. So let's tap it into the far right pin, which we can see is the yellow. Oh, and there come on our lights. So now we know that we need to tap into the yellow, so let's turn our headlights off. All right, so now we can do what we did to the black to our yellow, now that we know that that's our power. I'm gonna slide this guy into position, take our red wire, insert that as well, take our pliers and clamp it down. Give it a tug, make sure it's nice and secure. Close up shop. Now we can plug this guy in, but it's a good idea to test your connection by testing your lights. So turn the lights on, make sure they work properly, and then plug her in and finish up. All right, so now we can take that clip and plug it right back into our taillights. And then of course I unplug that secondary harness there, which you can plug back in as well. All right, from there, Tuck your harness, I'm gonna tuck it underneath of this carpet lining. Take that black cap and screw it back in place and repeat the same process for the other side. Now that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Oracle Afterburner LED light strips in red available for the taillights of all 08 to 14 Challengers. Again, this is a great way to go. Pick yours up right here at AmericanMuscle.com. <laughs>